In the CSEC exam pass paper question, May 2011, this is question 2, and it would fall under the general topic of algebra. Now, part A of question 2 is asking to write as a single fraction in its lowest terms, x minus 2 all over 3 plus x plus 1 all over 4. Now, this is pretty easy. Um, notice this is a fraction. This is another fraction and we are adding fractions, okay? Now, always remember when adding fractions, um, they must have something in common. Hence, we must find the LCD, which is the lowest common denominator. So what I'm saying, I'm drawing my line and I'm saying what's the lowest common denominator or what's the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4? Meaning, the smallest number that 3 and 4 can divide into without leaving a remainder and that would be 12 okay and if you're not um, so comfortable with fractions or algebra you could always visit our playlist on fractions and algebra and it will give you an in-depth course okay now we can say 3 into 12 goes 4 times so I'm saying this 3 into this 12 goes 4 times so the 4 that I get I will be multiplying my numerator by that 4 okay so what I'm gonna do I'm going to bring the 4 here and then I'm going to take down my numerator saying x minus 2 this is x minus 2 close bracket notice the 4 is multiplying my numerator here and I'm adding to that so I'm saying plus plus 4 into 12 goes three times okay and I'm going to be doing the same thing I'm just going to use that 3 to multiply my numerator up there so I'm putting the 3 here let me just change the color quickly sorry about that now I'm saying the 3 that I got I'm going to place it there and open bracket and I'm putting my x plus 1 down there okay let's extend that so really this implies this implies that what I have left here I can say 4 times the x basically I'm saying 4 times this x will give me 4x okay and then I'm saying 4 again times negative 2 will give me a negative 8 okay and here I have a positive 3 so I'm saying positive 3 plus x will give times multiplied by x rather will give me a positive 3x and 3 plus 1 3 times 1 rather will give me a plus 3 now remember that's all over 12 okay so <clears throat> let me just pull this up a bit so we can get a little bit more space to work with okay so really here what I'm doing now I'm just going to simply collect my like terms terms that looks alike so I'm going to say this implies that I have a 4x and I'm looking for another term in x which is 3x or say plus 3x and I have a negative 8 plus 3 all over 12 now note what I've just did I've just rewrite this um, in this form and by grouping or collecting my like terms so now I can easily calculate it to say then therefore the final answer would be 4 plus 3 would give me a total of 7x and I have a negative 8 and, and a positive 3 and if you notice the face value meaning when I look at the 8 when you look at a number what you see is the face value the face value of my 8 is negative is is it's negative 8 and the face value of my 3 is positive 3 now the face value of the negative number is larger than the face value of the positive number hence my answer must be negative so I'm saying 8 negative 8 plus 3 will give me negative 5 all over 12 okay and that would be my answer this would be my answer so let me just write that there as my answer now that's part a um, hope it was pretty easy for you now let's move over to part B okay let's scroll down a little bit to give us some more space okay to work with let's just keep it there now here in part B really um, it's a binary operation the binary operation star is defined by a star B 
which is equal to a plus b all squared minus 2ab. And we're asked to calculate the value of 3 star 4. Now, this is pretty easy. Notice a star b, and just let me make a quick little note here. We had a star b, okay? That's this right there, okay? And if you notice, they're asking us to calculate the value of 3 star 4. So they're asking us now to calculate the value of 3, and I'm going to write it just as the same, 3 star 4. Now, if you notice this by comparison, what we have just did, this is just basic substitution, okay? So wherever you see A, you're going to put 3, and wherever you see 4, you're going to, B rather, you're going to put 4. So really, in this expression that they have given us, and ask us to calculate the value of 3 star 4. You can, we can then say then that if a star b is equal to open bracket a plus b all squared minus 2ab, then this must be equal to wherever I see a, I am going to put 3. So I'm going to say open bracket 3 plus b is 4. 4, and then I'm going to square that, minus 2 times a is 3, and I'm going to say that is multiplying by 4, okay? So this is just simplifying, 3 plus 4, work out what's inside the bracket first, based on PEMDAS or BOMDAS, okay? And if you're not sure about that, you could always um, look at our videos on order of operation, okay? So now this is really 7 all squared, 3 plus 4 is 7, and that is squared, minus 2 times 3 will give us 6, and 6 fours is 24. So here now we have 7 squared is 49 minus 24. Okay, so we can say 4 from 9 leaves us with a 5, and 2 from 4 leaves us with a 2. So our answer is 25, okay? And that's it. Now, in question 2, we have worked out, we have worked out part A and part B. In the next video of question 2, we'll be looking at part C and part D. Okay, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.